Are you awake now? No. You're not awake yet? No. What are we on? Day number four? Day number five. Four. Well, five. technically five, but we didn't video the first day because it was so late. Put on a white slab. Let's see what we can do with this when they come through. Well, I got it out. Kind of bent the hook a little bit, but that's all right. Because I got these little baby needle nose. I don't really. I know I have a pair at home, and I guess. I thought I had one in the car or my tackle box, but apparently not. Looks good to me. How about you? Shall we continue? It feels good out here. Going up there and loading these pictures up. That's one thing I like about camping and not being in a big hurry. Is I love fishing and I hate... Oh, oh, you see? <laughs> oh, wasn't very big, but y'all saw it. Don't deny it either. Well, it's not the real big one, but it's still big enough to require a semi truck. We'll just watch it. Huh? Pretty good size, huh?
really thought that thing would go on up some, but I guess I did. We gonna walk down here, cause I keep seeing them bust out down here. I figured they could come back through, but they're still down here. So, we're gonna go give them a try. But I didn't bring a knife or nothing. How smart was that? I got needle nose. Well, let's see if we can. Pull some out right quick. There's one. Oh, you get 10 inches. I believe he's 10 inches. Another one, I don't know how big he is. He feels pretty light. Yeah, he was little. That's a better one. Had one while ago, just now, or that last cast, and he just kept hitting it, but he couldn't get on it. Guess he was too little. The one I threw back was, he might have been nine, I mean 10, but he was so close to nine, I figured best just let him go. Oop, there he is. I really want to catch one on this. That's kind of cool, I think. But we know the swim bait's working. And using Nikki's little crappie rod or whatever, perch, makes it a little more interesting for these little three and four pounders, whatever they are. Now, if we hook something big, we're in trouble. Definitely, we have to take our time. It's got a little pocket right there. That's where I'm... Got it in there that time. I just don't know how big of a rock that is, so I don't know how deep it is. You know, we're not going to catch a big, big fish on these. Ease of use and just dangling around, noodling around, whatever you want to call it. It's hard to beat them. So easy. You just push a little button and pretty much that's about it. Let go of it. You don't know how to use one. All you do is push that, give it a toss. Let go of it. That's it. Nothing to it. I almost hit that turtle on the head. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
See, that's how accurate these things can be. Oh, y'all see that? Get up here. Cause that wasn't a turtle, cause he was over there. We just kind of popped him on the shell. He's a little too big to boat flip. Thing to flip. Not too shabby. Sweet. Ah! You coming to say hi? Hello, hello. He ain't bad at all. What is that? Uh... Roland Martin says, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? That's what is that Roland Martin says? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think that's why he his thing. I should have checked that knot. There's a tip right there. After you fished a bit, hung up a couple of times, catch a fish or two, recheck your knot. Make sure it's okay. And that was on a little what is this, uh, Bluger? I don't even know how to pronounce it. F, no, P, F, L, U, E, G, E, R. On the ugly stick. I'm going back over here where.